I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Uh, and I want to tell you what I think happy new year means. I don't think happy new year means um, what it means to most people. Uh, 2016, by the way, doesn't know it's 2016 unless you tell it it's 2016. That means to say that your head has got to come around to, if you want to, think differently, begin the new year with a new set of thoughts, start to accomplish things that you didn't accomplish last year, and start to put together in your mind, if you want to do that, um, uh, what is going to be better about 2016 that wasn't so good in 2015. Or you can simply continue and, you know, December 31st turns, turns into January 1 and nothing happens differently. I always like to use just January 1st as a way to reflect and to think about what I'm going to do next year. And I'll just give you a hint of the way I do it. I first ask myself, you know, what's the vision that you have for 2016? What's going to happen at the end of 2016? that is going to make you happy, is going to fulfill some of the things that you want to get to have done didn't happen in 2015. You're going to have a better connection at work or you're going to be get better at what you do uh, for a living. You're going to get closer uh, to your family. You're going to get closer to your friends. Uh, you're going to pick up a hobby, whatever the case may be. You, you got a vision and it's got to be really clear in your mind what that vision is. Once you figure that out, then you got to commit to it. I don't mean commit uh, like join a gym and you don't, you don't show up at the gym or you show up a couple of times, it's a little bit hard, uh, or you went on a diet and that's no good. And then you, a commitment in my, in my way of thinking is when there's no plan B, and there's no plan C. A commitment is real and you don't go back. Uh, Vikings used to conquer countries and as soon as they landed on a country, they burned their boats. You say, why they do that? They did that. So psychologically, they understood that they could not go back uh, unless they won. And that's the kind of commitment that you have to have. I like to call that the Viking effect. So ask yourself if you're burning your boat, if you're leaving everything behind for this new commitment to this new vision. And I think you got to have a purpose. The purpose, what's the difference between a purpose and a vision? The purpose is the heart part of the vision. It's the, it's the emotion and the passion um, that you put into the vision, uh, which is so important to making sure that that vision comes true. And then if you take the accumulation of vision and commitment and purpose and what you have at the end uh, is something that's really cool that you can live with all year round um, and, and keep referring to it constantly. So happy new year, but I want you to know what happy new year means. Uh, it's not the horns, it's not the, uh, the ball. It's a real opportunity to be able to look at those four things and to really check it out all year about how you're doing against those four things. Happy new year, everybody.